so i'll create a vpc first so this is my vpc okay uh, here you can see that i already have a default vpc over here right but i will not uh, select this vpc i will create a custom vpc okay so every time we have to start from scratch then only we will learn okay so create a vpc so i will create a name firewall so what is the ip address network ip address 10.0.0.0 how many ip address i'll pick it from this port 256 okay come down then create a vpc so successfully created my vpc now i need to create two subnets right okay so as per the diagram you can see that first is my network subnet network firewall subnet second is my critical application subnet uh, i'll go to subnet so here you can see that i have a six subnet right why default. so this all are belongs to default vpc or okay, default vpc i'll go to create a subnet select your vpc i will select my firewall vpc yani firewall edke yani parna ra ta polum vekla subnet i will select uh, this is my firewall subnet i'll call it as firewall subnet okay you can put any custom name no issue okay uh, then i will select uh, cadr block what is my first subnet cadr block 10.0.0.0/25 how many ip address i'll pick it 128 ip address so create a subnet see uh, you can create multiple subnet at a time you can click add a new subnet okay come down and this is my application subnet right i will put app subnet so i'll give as cd range what is cd range 0128/25 okay from 128 to 255 i'll be get okay then create a subnet so now i created two subnets in my vpc right so let me just mention down subnet 1 and subnet 2 next route table right okay i'll go to route table so here you can see that already i have a route table for my firewall vpc why default default whenever you creating a vpc we will be get a default route table right so that is a this route table default route table what is the implicit and explicit association asumaya implicit and explicit association subnet association okay which which is which route table main route table by default they will select the main route table what is the explicit manually directly i can select your route table sorry subnet association right that's a explicit subnet association so i'll create one more route table and i will call it as uh, this is my public route sorry firewall route table firewall route table i'll put fire firewall rt that's enough so i'll create one more route table so create your route table so i'll call it as my critical application route table so apps rt select your virtual private cloud uh, come down create a route table so now successfully i created two route table here you can see that uh, one route table i created for my firewall and one route table i created for my critical application exactly okay so now i need to create one internet gateway right see what are the connection what are the requests i am getting into my internet gateway it has to go to my subnet 1 it should not go to subnet 2 first right without inspecting it should not go to subnet 2 so i need to create internet gateway over here i'll create internet gateway later i will create one route table okay so let me create internet gateway and route table so i'll go to route table again i'll create one more route table create a route table i'll call it as igwrt select your virtual private cloud firewall come down create a route table so now i created three route table right so now i need to create one internet gateway so that will uh, like uh, pass internet to my vpc <coughs> i'll go to internet gateway create a internet gateway i'll call it as firewall igw then create a internet gateway so by default it detaches it straight, right i need to attach my internet gateway with my vpc i will select my vpc firewall attach internet gateway so successfully i associated my vpc and uh, my internet gateway right so next what i have to do 
Association. I need to associate uh, the first out table with my internet gateway and second out table with my second uh, firewall subnet and third out table with my application subnet. Exactly. So let me go to my route table first. Okay. In route table, first I will select my internet gateway route table. Listen. So I'll select my internet gateway route table. Okay. I'll go to subnet association. So previously we were doing subnet association, right? But first subnet I need to associate with my internet gateway. How we can do that? What are the possible actions we can? Any idea? No idea. See, I want to associate my route table with my internet gateway. Is it possible? Internet gateway. How? That's a root, right? So I can root to internet gateway, but I want to associate with my internet gateway. Association, attaching. How? Okay, so for that, we, here you can see that edge association. Are you able to see this? What is it? Edge association. edge association. If you want to associate a route table with a VPG or internet gateway, so we have to go with edge association. Can anyone please tell what is a VPG? What is a VPG? Virtual private gateway. We have already discussed that like uh, last week itself. What was that? Huh? Eh? What was VPG and where we used it? Side to side connection. Side to side connection, right. So at that time I need to create a VPG and customer gateway. Then I need to establish a connection between VPG to on premise, exactly. Okay. So at that time I have to use VPG, right. So just leave it. So at this time, for the time being, you have to understand edge association. We can attach route table with my internet gateway. Okay. If you're getting question like, uh, so can I attach route table with my internet gateway? Is it possible or not? Possible or not? Yes. Possible. How? Edge association. I'll go to my edge association. And what was the internet gateway name? Firewall IGW, right? Okay. I will select edge association. So now you can see that uh, my firewall internet gateway over here. See? Gateway ID. And this is my firewall internet gateway. Are you able to see this? This is my firewall IGW. Okay. So I will select this firewall IGW. Then save a change. Okay. So now you can see that if I select my IGW, IGWRT, uh, here you can see the edge association that successfully completed with my internet gateway. Okay. So now I can go to root, then I can create root over here. Root, I can create root over here, no issue. Okay. So same as uh, I'll go to my firewall route table. Okay. Then what I have to do? Okay. First I have to associate my this route table with my firewall subnet, subnet right? So first I will do that. I'll go to my subnet association. This is my firewall route table. I'll go to edit subnet association. Anyway, I'm recording video. Okay. If you want, you can just go through that. Okay. Now you can see that firewall subnet, right? I will select my firewall subnet. Then save association. Successfully, I associated my second subnet with my second route table. Firewall route table. Fine. So now I need to create a route, right? What route? Internet gateway. internet gateway. So this subnet directly can connect internet, right? Okay. So I will just click over here, then uh, go to route, then edit route. So here you can see the 10.000 slash 24. What does it mean? Local. 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 So that can communicate locally, that can communicate. No issue. Right. But there is no internet route till now. So we need to create the internet route for that adder route. Then 000, 000, 000. internet gateway. Then save a change. Okay, select your internet gateway, then save a change. So now successfully created and associated my second route table as well. Next. Application route table, right? Okay. I'll go to my application route table. Go to route table again. Select your application route table. Uh, subnet association. What was my subnet? Critical. Eh? Critical okay, critical, right? App subnet. Okay. I will select my subnet association successfully completed. Suppose this subnet want to communicate internet. Okay. So what would be the uh, like internet route then? Subnet 1, right? See, I will give a route 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, then slash 0, then it has to go to internet gateway or subnet 1. Subnet 1. See, once it go to subnet 1, it will inspect the traffic, then only it will go to internet, right? So uh, the problem is till now I didn't create a firewall. Okay, so first I need to create a firewall. So once I create a firewall, I will be getting an endpoint over here. Okay, so I can create, I can route to my like uh, endpoint. Okay, once I create an endpoint. So let me just do that quickly. 
So for that, first we have to go to VPC. On VPC left panel, you can see that uh, internal gateway, egress only internal gateway, right? Just come down. So here you can see that network firewall. Are you able to see this? What is it? Network firewall. So first we have to open this firewall, then we have to create a firewall. So when you're creating a firewall, you have to create a specific VPC and subnet. What, what, what is my subnet name? Firewall subnet name? Firewall? A uh, firewall subnet, right? So I need to specifically mention, okay, I want to create my firewall on this particular subnet. Okay, so I'll go to my firewall. Listen, I'll go to my firewall. Uh, as of now, I don't have any firewalls. Okay, I'll create a new firewall. So create firewall option. Click over here. Okay, come down. So first I have to mention a name over here. Okay, it's mandatory. So without a name, we cannot go ahead. Okay, I'll create a name, uh, firewall. So what can do firewall it is? Application firewall or network firewall? Network, network. network firewall. I will mention network firewall. Uh, network firewall. Okay. So then description that is optional. Either you can add or you can leave this option. No issue. So next, VPC. VPC. Here you have to mention the VPC. Okay. I'll select my VPC name is firewall. And then we have to select availability zone. So I'll select US East 1C. That is my available zone where I created my subnets. Okay. So then, subnet. What is my subnet name? Firewall subnet name? Firewall subnet. You can see that firewall subnet. I'll select my firewall subnet. You should not select app subnet because I will create all the my critical application over there. Okay. My firewall subnet particularly I have to mention my first subnet. Okay. So select uh, firewall subnet. Uh, come down. Come down. Come down. <coughs> okay. So here you can see that associated firewall policy. So we have to create a firewall policy role name first. You can give any name. So I will give uh, my rules. My rules. That is enough. Come down. Create a firewall. Okay. So now you can see that uh, one firewall has been creating over here, right? My rules. It's created, right? So now I'll go to my rules. You have to click my rules first. Okay. If you come down, you can see that we don't have any rules over here, right? So we need to create a rule first. Okay. For that, I will click action. Create a stateful rule group. Then uh, we have to put a name. So we can put any name. So I will select uh, my test firewall. Uh, we can put any name, my test firewall. So description that is still optional. Either we can opt or else we can leave. No issue. Okay. Capacity. So capacity you have to mention minimum one, but I will select three. So three year out or three rule or, or, or like uh, three can process at a time. That's what we mentioning three. So we can have up to hundred. Okay. So for the time being understand capacity like uh, uh, how many rule has to be processed like at a time. So that's what I'm using capacity over there. We can give minimum one, maximum hundred. Okay. So I'll give minimum three. Sorry. I'll give the default three. So then come down. So here you can see that file tuple and domain list. And we have a, uh, what is it? Surikata compatible IP, IPS rule. Okay. So as of now, we'll go with the file tuple rule. Okay. So I will select file tuple rule. Come down. So here you can see that add a rule. So here we have to mention our rule. So my what is my rule? Ah, what is my rule? HTTP should deny. SSL should allow. Okay. So I'll go to my protocol. So first I have to select protocol HTTP. What is the protocol of HTTP? Number, number. HTTP protocol number. 80. What's the DNS protocol number? 53. What's the DHCP protocol number? Sumaya. DHCP. Dynamic host configuration protocol. 67 and 68. So what's the protocol number of a FTP? FTP, FTP. 20 and 20. What is the protocol number of a SSH? What is the protocol number of a Telnet? 20? Okay, what is the protocol number of BGP? No. No. BGP. 1? 179. What is the protocol number of ISAC MP? 
इंटरनेट सिक्योरिटी एसोसिएशन फाइव हंड्रेड और जब प्रोटोकॉल नंबर ऑफ एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी नो आइडिया ओके व्हाट इज द प्रोटोकॉल नंबर ऑफ माय एसक्यूएल डेटाबेस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोटोकॉल इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है 3306 व्हाट इज द प्रोटोकॉल नंबर ऑफ आरडीपी प्रोटोकॉल विंडोज आरडीपी प्रोटोकॉल डबल 3 8 9 नो डबल 3 नो प्रो 80 9 89 3389 इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके प्रोटोकॉल इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो मोस्ट प्रोबेब्ली दे विल आस्क लाइक द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट राउंड दे विल आस्क दिस काइंड ऑफ अ क्वेश्चंस ओके so you should be prepared with that okay i will select http protocol okay so select http protocol first so then i will select source any and source port that is any and destination any and destination port is any come down so then i will select draw so my http pro, uh, like uh, connection all connection has to be drop right deny so that's what i'm given drop over here then click add a row okay it will create a rule over here you can see that successfully created right So next, I will create one more rule. So I will select uh, protocol. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will select yes, sir. Now, then, I know right. It has to be pass. So come down. We no need to change any value. That's it. See, just select your port number. Then come down. Pass. Then pass. See, by default, it will pass. Right. Then create add a rule. So now I successfully created two rules. You can see that one is HTTP, another one is SSH. And HTTP that is denying and SSH is allowing passing. So then create and add a policy. So it will automatically create a policy and it will add to our network firewall. So that is going to happen over here. Okay. So we have to wait couple of seconds. So uh, once it create, then uh, what we'll do here? We will go to our uh, subnet. Then we will create a virtual machine over there. Okay. So I will be able to access through protocol number twenty-two SSH remote connection, but I would not be able to access through protocol number eighty or HTTP. So for that I will create one Apache application over there. Okay, and you can also get the IP address. You can also search from your mobile phone or computer, and you would be you would would not be able to access the website because my firewall that is denying the website. Protocol number eighty. So let me try. So I'll go to my firewall again. I'll go to my firewall. Okay, here you can see that uh, now successfully my firewall has been created, right? Successfully created. So let me go to endpoint now. Endpoint. We have to go to endpoint. Endpoint. So here you can see that one endpoint automatically has been created, right? Firewall endpoint. We don't need to create any endpoint. We already learned what is interface endpoint, what is a gateway endpoint. But while you're creating a firewall, automatically it will create a gateway endpoint. Okay. So now what I will do here? So I will create a route over here. Zero 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 to <laughs> where subnet one. So in subnet one, I created endpoint. What is the gate gate uh, endpoint name? Gateway endpoint. Right. Gateway endpoint. I created. See. Here you can see that Amazon.com. This is gateway endpoint. If I just enlarge, here you can see that gateway load balancer endpoint, right? So first I will go to my subnet two uh, route table. Okay, subnet two route table. Let me go to subnet two route table. I'll go to my route table first. Okay, this is my route table. So I will select my subnet two route table, application route table, right? Select this application route table. Go to route. Here you can see that I have only one route, ten dot zero 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 slash twenty four. Locally they can communicate, but uh, go they cannot go to internet. There is a no option, right? So for that I will edit this option, edit route, because I have a wish. My virtual machine has to communicate with the internet. That's all. So I'll give you one more rule: zero 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 internet gateway or subnet one. In subnet one I created a endpoint. What is the gate uh, endpoint name? Gateway. So we have to select gateway load balancer endpoint. We already learned what is transit gateway, what is the peering connection, what is the network interface, NAT gateway, NAT instance, and inner gateway, right? So now we will learn what is the gateway load balancer endpoint. Okay, select gateway load balancer endpoint, then save a change. So now successfully, uh, whatever the communication happening from su subnet two, it will go to my subnet one. Okay, from subnet one directly it will go to IGW. 
So now I need to create a route from my internal gateway to my exactly for that. What I have to do? Yeah? I have to create a route rate. Right? So what? What router? See, I have to create a rule. If anybody is accessing from outside, this subnet IP address. Okay, it has to come to work. Gateway, that endpoint, right? So that I have to create in my route table. I'll go to my route table again. Okay. okay. See, I already created one route table from this subnet to my uh, firewall, right? If anybody is accessing my application, so first it has to come, it has to come to work. Subnet 1. In subnet 1, I created an endpoint, right? What is the endpoint name? Gateway load balancer endpoint. What I, what I will do is I will create a root over here. 10.0.0.0 128 slash 25. It has to go to subnet subnet 1 endpoint, right? See, after inspecting the traffic, it will go to subnet 2. So I'll go to my um, internet gateway route table. So create a route, edit route. Okay, what is my destination subnet IP address? 10.0.0.128 10 slash 25. Okay, then it has to go to work. Gateway load balancer endpoint. I will select my endpoint name, then server chain. That's it. Okay, so now let me create one virtual machine, then I will try. Okay, so let me do that. So I'll go to my EC2 machine. So select your EC2 console. EC2, Elastic Cloud Computing. Okay, probably we will uh, start uh, EC2 tomorrow. Okay, so I'll give an introduction what is the hypervisor on today, and tomorrow we will start EC2. Okay, so go to instance. Uh, as of now, I don't have any virtual machines over here, right? So I'll create a virtual machine launch instance with the public API address. Okay. So select your name, I will call it as my critical application. So that's what I will call it as a critical VM. Okay, whatever it can be. Uh, come down, I will select Amazon Linux. Come down, then I will select a key pair name. So here I will select my key pair name as key one. Come down, so I will select my network settings. I will select my VPC. So you can see that by default selected default VPC, right? But I created a custom VPC. What is the name? Firewall. Firewall. I will select my VPC over here. So then I will select my app subnet right because i need to host this uh, app subnet right i no need to host in firewall subnet in app subnet so we require a public ip address that's what i will give enable so come down so here i will select all the traffic so anybody can connect from anywhere but my uh, firewall is denying that rule right let me try launch instance successfully i created so now i'll try to access my what SSH first? Let me try to connect my SSH. So once it's up and running, I'll try. Okay. Probably the firewall like apply it will take two to three minutes. We have to wait. So now it's up and running. I'll try to connect my server first. Connect. Let me try whether I'm able to access or not. Okay, so now I can see that successfully I connected by using which protocol? Protocol number? <coughs> 22 SSH. Okay. So now I'll try to install one application, HTTP application. Okay. So then I'll try to connect that application. Let me try. So I'll install the application first. So how to install Apache server? Can anyone? No, no. So, uh, like HTTP, actually, that is a web server. Web server in the sense, suppose if you want to host any application, so we have to create a web server on top of our virtual machine. See, so we will learn that tomorrow. So this is my EC2 server, right? So this is a dummy server in the sense. See, I just created a default server, but this server, as of now, don't have any capabilities. Okay, so I can connect the server. That's it. But if you want to host any application, you have to install. Apache, that's a kind of web server. So we can install Nginx, Tomcat, I can install uh, JBoss, Glassfish. These all are kind of a web servers or application servers. So once you install this application server on top of this virtual machine, then you will be able to uh, deploy one application over there. 
okay so what i will do here i will just execute some commands over here uh, to install one apache server web server i need to host one application that's my requirement okay so we'll learn that in deep dive tomorrow okay we have to learn the configuration file and uh, i'll try to uh, attach two public ip address for my virtual machine then what i will do here uh, i will run one application over here another one over here we no need to create multiple server instead of that one server but different different ip address i can attach multiple public ip address it's po possible okay but we have to do some configuration and uh, and i will do small project as well okay with the database and all you can let's some okay with the ecd so i'll show you that okay next uh, i'll let me just install the http package m install http minus y okay so actually m is a package manager then install that i'm giving one instruction i have to install this package http in the sense that the package name space minus y without any prompt i can go ahead okay so successfully installed now i will execute system ctl start http successfully i started my httpd engine now so now what i will do here i will check the status uh, let me check the status whether is it running or not for that i can execute status uh, hit end actually uh, command is status so now you can see that my apache status is active and running right okay let me try to access my apache by using public ip address copy this public ip address and uh, go to your browser so it will take uh, some time even we will try to access our apache applications so now my apache is active and running right so it's pretty clear right i installed then i uh, started my engine let's try it's not working we can will try it's not working I'll go to my website ping. It suppose it it should not work right because I already created a rule HTTP deny right. So now I will rewrite HTTP alarm. Okay, so let me just put the IP address over here then HTTP. No, it's not working. So can anyone get your no search is okay? So it's not working. See, I'm not getting the page right. Okay, now what I will do here? I will go to my firewall. Then I will enable HTTP allow instead of draw. Okay, I'll go to my firewall. How to how to my uh, like uh, how to revive that in the sense how to modify my firewall? Can anyone? Okay, go to firewall then. Okay, I'll go to my firewall again. Go to firewall then. Okay, edit rules. I'll go to my rule. Okay, network firewall. I will open. Then I will open my rule name. Let me open rule. Name. Okay, I will open my rules. Then, then come down. So here you can see that test firewall, right? I will open this test firewall. Come down. Here you can see that I have a two rules. I will click edit rules. Then we have to edit HTTP rule, right? Edit. Then we have to pass the rule. See now I given drop instruction right, so I will give a pass, then save, then save a rule. So it will take two to three minutes to come up. So we have to wait two to three minutes to come up. Okay. So after two to three minutes, we will be able to access the website. We suppose. See, ah, now it's working. See, after I enabling my firewall rule, I am able to access. It's a pretty, pretty simple. So at least try to understand the concept and steps how to create a firewall. I've been already created a video. I can just put the link in WhatsApp or wherever it is. No issue. Just go through that if you have any. Okay. If you know like uh, extra skill or if you have extra skill, simply you can crack your interview. You sir. Any doubts? So first I'll stop this record.